friends, today we are at MikeMe, great company that is trying to revolutionize audio. And everything about it, we will hear from Philip Zonleitner, CEO. Philip, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Yeah, I'm quite well. Great. I'm happy to be nice here. To, nice to hear that. Please tell us what great products are you making here. Yeah, so um, our company is called MikeMe and our goal basically is to capture great audio and video and let people create not only capture but also produce and share the content basically instantly. So our goal is how can you maintain high quality but still be very fast. Because until now it's basically it's easy to get great quality with a lot of equipment, knowledge, if you have a lot of time. But in the time of Instagram where you want to post a story quite fast, normally the, the, the quality especially for audio is like yeah, people don't spend too much attention or it's quite hard to maintain audio quality because the camera of your smartphone is quite nice, um, but what, what's with audio? Yeah, yeah exactly. So that, that, that's mm -hmm. a big thing for us and uh, that's actually the goal we want to achieve. Cool. And we started out uh, five years ago to build the best uh, mobile microphone slash audio recorder slash wireless microphone for musicians <laughs> like you. Because okay. you're a singer-songwriter, you told me before. So this is our first product, it's called the Micro Microphone. Um, it's actually a high quality studio grade microphone with a built in audio recorder. So you just hold it, record your idea, and you just push a one button and it starts recording on its internal 16 gigabyte storage. Uh, you push the button again, and now you have stored and captured your idea in great audio quality. Uh, why you want to do that? Because maybe if you like inspiration hits, mm -hmm. you maybe want to capture that, that emotion the very first take. Totally. That's the story of my life. Yeah, yeah that's so much tapping into problems every. Every musician has, I'm sure. Well, uh, the really cool thing is this uh, microphone also syncs over Bluetooth to your smartphone. So the problem with that is um, it's, it's cool if you have it locally on your device, but how do you share the content? So we figured out a way to transport the audio file more or less close to real time to your phone. Uh, with Bluetooth, the problem there again is like Bluetooth is not really a high quality profile. So you lose a lot of your great audio quality if you like remember how headphones sound like you can listen to music quite well but if you use the microphone it's not good quality so we developed our own Bluetooth um, Bluetooth software which can receive like CD quality audio in there no latency no, no latency um, I mean this yeah we get rid of the latency we can record Perfect. I just showed you the video before with two That's microphones really cool. um, we get rid of the latency and if if you lose packets if there's some a problem with your um, Bluetooth signal, we still always save a local copy on the device, which makes sure that you never lose an audio packet again. So if at the end of the recording, if you hit stop, and let's say you lost like 5% of your, of your file, the MikeMe app, which runs on your iPhone, will still uh, resync all the lost packages, which we call lost and found, because you lost basically your music, and then we find it again in the MikeMe. For microphones, you have to be close, like this clip on microphones. This is why we have a new product called the MikeMe Pocket. Oh, okay. So it's that one. So we're both recording on a mic with pocket now, um, which is very similar um, from a concept point of view, but it is a, you can connect external microphones, dynamic microphones, clipper microphones, stuff like that. And just hit the button and start recording. Uh, it also works with your smartphone. Also one button. Also <laughs> one button. And it also works quite neatly with your smartphone. So if you make an Instagram story, let's say we would film this with an iPhone. Um, so both microphones would sync with the iPhone. So you get basically professional broadcast quality audio, sync it with the uh, smartphone app, so with our MikeMe app, and then you could cut it a bit, trim it a bit, adjust the volumes a bit, and then go on an Instagram story. Tell me something about design, because you want a word also for yeah. this one, huh? Yeah, I'm a quite, 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 quite designy, designy I don't know if I'm, if I'm really off yeah. track, but to remind me of, of server, like on big... You know, like small version of A servers. lot of people ask, about, what do you think? What it, and so people are passing by at roadshows and saying, like, oh, and ask, what is it? And I said, what do you think it is? It's a speaker. So for design, a good friend of mine, Manuel, did design, industrial designer, and I asked him for just two things that if you place, um, so first a nice design, but more importantly, you need to, ma to place a microphone on the table. And that's for people who don't know about studio microphones, Maybe it's like, yeah, I'm sure you can place on the table, yeah. Okay, Actually, 99% of the microphones you cannot on the place on the table. Um, you maybe need a stand or some, some weird tripods um, because they all have the cable at the bottom side where basically exactly. nobody knows why that is. 
So you can place it on the table without anything attached to it. It's a good point. And the second thing, yeah, I actually wow. never thought about <laughs> it. The, um, the second thing was if you place it next to like 15 other microphones, uh, there should be no question to which microphone you look. So we did like actually, um, we saw some old microphones from the 50s, like the Elvis microphone from Shure, where we has a, a different shape, but it has this uh, nice grill. So we thought, okay, that might be nice and l make it very look very different. We have a big differentiator. So it's not like a handheld microphone. It's not like a studio it's microphone. Totally different. Um, so people like the design a lot. So it, it takes attention. Um, it looks different. Do you already use influencers? So it's something that you you would find just interesting. Very little, very little. Okay. I mean, we already mm -hmm. started working with some. Go some more B two B maybe strategy. No, you can tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so next so for you? Mm -hmm. Um, we worked with some influencers, but we didn't spend. So until now, we spend, I guess, ninety percent or eighty percent of our money into and our resources into the product. So we shift a little bit our resources towards marketing and sales to ramp up bigger uh, or put more efforts and focus into marketing and sales, uh, especially as this video product seems to resonate quite well with video makers. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks perfect. It's like really. big brands, big TV stations asking for it, trying it out. Especially with the new iPhone 11 Pro, which is like a big step forward with, uh, from the video quality. Um, it seems like, like some TV stations, quite big ones actually, see, okay, so now the video quality is already quite good to be. To, could do like broadcasting content with the iPhone, like smaller content. Um, but how, if we put it on a gimbal, how do we make the audio? Because on the gimbal, the problem is you cannot audio. use any cables because if you use cables, then the gimbal is getting out of balance. So you have to have a, like a wireless solution. There's a basically no wireless solution without a receiver. So the cool thing, maybe I've not mentioned this, you only need to, those two things. Like this is transmitter recorder and we directly put the content on your phone. There's nothing you have to attach to it. Perfect. What's yeah. next for Mic Me, like near future? So the, the, the next, I guess year, one and a half years, so we, we try to focus on, the, on the, that video use case because you know everyone knows like video is pushing hard, social content, short form mm -hmm. content. If you think about Insta, Insta stories or if you think about newer platforms like TikTok, it's basically not any longer like lo not, I'd say a lot of people focus like on just like one scene videos, which is typically story content on Insta. Um, if you think about long form content, like you know, 15 different scenes, I guess that's still produced like with cameras in Final Cut Pro with a lot of post-production. But if you think just producing on your phone, they are actually, Mic Me could uh, help a lot, especially with our new product, the Mic in Pocket. Um, so we're focusing on, on, on that use case and try to improve the software, the workflow, and make it even easier for users to put out more content in shorter time and still maintain a, a quite decent and quite good quality. Okay, Philip. So I guess we could wrap it up. We talked a lot, we said everything. Do you want to emphasize something else? Yeah, or, or, uh, like in stories, your narrative, your, the story you want to tell is important. A lot of that story is you, you speaking. Uh, we try to help people being heard, that they can tell their story and they, that people understand what the, 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 the message they want to uh, tell. And that's basically the, 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 the big vision and goal we're working in that space. So guys, if you ever want to accompany your video content with great audio, Mike Me is the company to go.